hurts to even talk because my throat is just gone and I'm coughing more than I ever coughed for years now. But still the commitment is commitment and I need to do this live as well. And I'm studying lately more about branding and marketing. Like I'm just crazy passionate about these uh, topics. Hi Jade. And since I cannot uh, focus on actual work delivery just because of the headache that this cough creates, I take a lot of time studying. Oh Jade, morning, what time is it there? It should be 11 hours, so okay, it's late for you, right? It's 7 in the morning, um, almost. Uh, and there are some very, very nice teachings that I'm learning from one of the best branding content creators, Chris Doe, from the future. Uh, I hope that people know that about that. Yeah, I'm sorry to Jade, uh, but you know, I, I, I saw it coming. We had our call yesterday and I really saw it coming. Um, and he's talking about pricing uh, properly, about positioning your products, your services properly. And it is very, very important for people to understand the, the value of what they are doing, but mostly what is the value of what they are doing into the person that they deliver the service. What? So this guy, you pro obviously you know him, uh, he, in his channel, in his channel Jade, he has, like I, I consumed, I think the last 24 to 48 hours, like, I don't know, uh, six or seven podcasts, bootcamps that he's talking about, pricing, positioning, um, interviews with other people about, you know, the subject that he's actually very innovating really, and he's educating very well. And undeniably, he's one of the best in what he's doing, especially when it comes to creative businesses, because he is a creative uh, person too. And the thing that interested me more than anything else is just the way that he explains the value positioning of a service and a product, which people usually think about it. Okay, what kind of effort did I put on the product? This is how valuable it should be. And they are afraid of valuing it as much as it impacts the other person's, uh, the one that buys it uh, business. One one thing that was very, very interesting for me, it was a little story that he said about um, how a lead magnet, a digital product, even if it's free, um, that explains step-by-step, step-by-step guides, exactly how to do something um, and you deliver it, maybe you, Jay, deliver something to somebody that does has to, to deal with Canva, okay? How to do the proper templates. Maybe I deliver something to somebody that has to do with the developing and the auditing of a website and the best principles. And he says that the moment you show somebody and you teach them step by step how to do it, this is probably the moment that they realize how hard it is and how not knowledgeable they are on the subject and this is where you're actually becoming more hireable if you like for you to execute the solution for them it's not that they don't know the solution because you actually gave them on a silver plate but it is just they realize how long it will take even if they they follow step by step um um the you know a guide that you you offer them and this for me it's like always mind-blowing because we believe that if we uh, give all the information out for free out there, even if, you know, uh, not even for free, even for a very small price, we just take away from our business. I strongly believe that the moment you tell somebody what they need to do to improve their business in a specific uh, subject, whatever this subject is, this is when you capture them as a potential client, just because in my experience, the biggest Two problems people have when they uh, and why they hire services for their business is lack of time, lack of expertise, and most importantly, the combination of both. So it is matter of confidence as well. So you might have the time and you actually want to get your hands dirty, but are you confident that you will spend all of this time doing a good result? Mostly not. So either you hire somebody to do it so you have the confidence that this person is doing it for you so you feel the confidence that it's being done right and you learn from it as well while you talk in the process. Ideally, a service person has 
to educate you why he's doing or she is doing the things that they are doing for you. And then it is a matter not only of time and knowledge, it is and that creates this confidence problem is the issue of is for you, Jade, for example, is it valuable to work on your website all day long when the most valuable part of your business lies somewhere else for you? The same goes for me. Is it the most valuable for me to create um, the the visual elements for what I want to achieve for my website, for my digital products, for anything, rather than doing actually the job delivery and the marketing and the sales part of it? Uh, this is, I believe, one of the very, very good lessons and I will, in my newsletter that is coming very, very soon, I will just dissect all this great information and offer it to you in a platter uh, because I believe learning these things by studying them and learning these things by just educating myself, it is growing my business and growing my mind and my mindset and I believe it will be valuable for all of you. So this is not... Um, a, kind of a, a, a promotion for the upcoming um, newsletter but it is something that I have in my mind to do because I'm geeking out about all these topics and I'm learning and I'm studying every single person that offers any kind of value and I'm formulating my own ideas and I believe there is great value to um, distribute this um, this information to to all of you that you're actually struggling with the same things I'm struggling, maybe from a different angle, but we're all in the same boat, I believe, especially businesses that are below $100,000 or pounds per year revenue, which means that you're just barely making it there and you just making, creating a team surrounding you and you're still in lack of time and processes and structures and any piece of information that can help you reach the next point will be of great value so jade thank you thank you very much for being here um it was an amazing call we had yesterday and i'm very very sorry that it was cut short by my little boy but he's a very demanding little dude and with this in mind i want to protect my voice a little bit more and i will see you tomorrow which tomorrow is valentine's day and tomorrow is my hundredth live in a row finally it, it looks such a long road i'm very proud of this achievement for me and i, I i'm happy that uh, you enjoyed it jade because you know it was uh, him interrupting everything <laughs> um and i will see everybody tomorrow everybody like happy valentine's day for you jade that it is actually 14th already for you uh 100 yes i'm very proud and now the next the next goal is to reach to a complete year of going live, talking about subjects. Hopefully, when I will have my newsletter as well and my blog content, I will be able to more structured give advice and a recap of what I learned rather than going more on a, a kind of a diary um, format that most of my uh, lives go. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Jade, you are a hero. You are one of one of the role models for me and I discuss about it with in my cohort and with my partner about you and about how you actually juggle with 15, 17 balls every day. Uh, thank you for being part of my business and my life. I appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow.